On the docket tonight, the shooting death of Ahmad Arbery. Uh, the man who was running through a South Georgian neighborhood was followed by three men in two trucks and was uh, shot and killed. And uh, that trial is coming up very shortly here on Court TV. One of those three men is a guy named William uh, Roddy Bryan. And William Roddy Bryan, um, there you see him uh, shortly after the shooting. Uh, did not have a gun that day, but he did have a cell phone. And you've all seen the video of Ahmad Arbery being shot. Well, that video was recorded by Roddy Bryan. And his attorney, Kevin Goff, joins us live tonight from Glynn County, Georgia. Uh, Kevin, great to see you. Thanks so much. Good evening, sir. Let me ask you, as we get very close to this trial uh, beginning, um, you know, people have a very visceral reaction to this story and this case. But I'm wondering, from your perspective, once we get inside that courtroom, do you think this trial will at all be about everything that has happened outside of the courtroom in this case, the discussions, the protests, and everything else? Or do you think it ends up being about the evidence, the video, and what happened that day? I, I think you're going to be surprised at how little impact all of this background noise has on the actual administration of justice. Uh, I, I guess I would analogize it to reality TV. Um, when you start following people around with cameras, uh, sooner or later, they just get used to it and they ignore it. And I think you'll see that by the second or third day of the trial that these jurors are going to be ignoring all that stuff. And they're going to be concentrating on the evidence in this case. Uh, and that's certainly what uh, we're all hoping for, because uh, we want the truth to come out. And we believe it will. Now, one of the reasons this became such a huge story, uh, the video that was recorded by your client, um, but also the color of everyone's skin involved here. I mean, the, the, the images that have been seen. Three guys with white skin in pickup trucks, two of them with guns, one of them standing on the back of the pickup truck following an African-American uh, man through uh, this neighborhood. So from your perspective in defending this case, does race play a role in all of this? How, how, how does that, um, or does it make its way inside the courtroom? Race isn't going to play much of a role in this trial. It doesn't play any role in this case. Look, you can take all of the participants in, in the events of this day, and, and you can paint them any color or race that you want, white, black, whatever any combination, any permutation, and you come up with the same result. A reasonable person in the position of Roddy Bryan would have done exactly the same thing that day, regardless of the race or color or sex of the people in the pickup truck or, or the person running down the street. Uh, I believe that, and I think that uh, after a day or two of this trial, I believe the media are gonna focus on what the facts are in the case, uh, rather than all this spin. And when that happens, I think y'all will agree as, um, they, as the events unfold day by day during the trial that this has never been a case about race. Now, let me ask you about the evidence in the case and, and, and what this trial will be about. Because self-defense appears to be the defense of, of Travis McMichael in this, and, and that's a big part of the case. But is it about the moment of the confrontation or is it about everything that happened leading up to that confrontation? Well, I, I don't want to speak for the McMichaels, of course. Uh, they have very capable lawyers defending them. But from where I sit, this looks like a citizen arrest case. Uh, and uh, on the one hand, the right of citizens to conduct a arrest and also uh, an equally ancient provision of our law that says, at least in Georgia, that you have the right to resist an arrest that you believe is unlawful. Uh, and that doesn't matter whether it's a police officer, a bail bondsman, or a private citizen, you have that right. That right dates back to the common law, just as the right of, of, of private citizens to make an arrest does. I think that's where this trial is at. And I think that it, while self concepts of self-defense are certainly relevant to that, I think you have to look at it in that context, and it radically changes it. Now, Kevin, your, your client, um, William Roddy Bryan, recorded the video. Then when police responded after the shooting, he immediately gave them the video. Why did he do that? 
because Roddy Bryan is a patriot. Roddy Bryan is a good American citizen. He is a fine neighbor. And he did what we would hope everyone would do under the same circumstances. He had information that was relevant to this investigation, and he provided that information without even being asked. He volunteered that information because he wanted the truth to come out. And he's done everything he can. He's cooperated in every conceivable way with law enforcement from day one. And it mystifies me to this day why he's even a defendant in this case. You know, I could speculate. There's a lot of politics involved in all this, but I'm not going to do that tonight. We're ready for our day in trial, and we're ready for Roddy to go home. Now, there's a moment in that body cam video where um, Roddy says he, he seems to question whether or not they should have been following Ahmad Arbery through the neighborhood and, and tracking him in their pickup trucks. Um, to me, that's almost, almost like a moment where he's thinking, well, wait a minute, what we did was not right here. Well, you know what? A jury is ultimately going to have to determine what justice is between uh, uh, Ahmad Arbery and his family and the McMichaels. Uh, and, you know, there's capable lawyers on all sides of this looking at that. But from Roddy Bryan's perspective, you know, Roddy Bryan is simply reacting to the events as they unfold, you know. Uh, and I, I think it's to his credit that he is straightforward from day one uh, about everything in this case. Uh, and it is what it is. He's not trying to spin it. He's not trying to change it or alter it or hide it. He acted in good faith from day one, from, the, from moment one, from second one uh, of, on this day, always in good faith. And he's cooperated. And I think the fact that he provided that level of cooperation to this day is a demonstration that he bore no ill will to Mr. Arbery. And he had no criminal intent in anything that happened that day. Now, I, I hear you, and, and you sound um, confident in, in your convictions. But I, I want to ask you what your biggest concerns are going into this trial. My biggest concerns are that we pick a jury that is fair uh, and that the jury is insulated from improper influences uh, during the trial. Uh, we certainly want a jury that is not fearful of returning a verdict that speaks the truth in this case. Uh, and anytime you've got this level of media attention, uh, you always have to be concerned. But that would be a concern whether we try this case now or next year. It would be a concern whether we try this case here or in Alaska or on Mars. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're always going to have that issue. But uh, we believe that if uh, we get a fair and impartial jury honestly seeking the truth and they apply the evidence that's presented to them in the courtroom, that they're going to do the right thing. I've lived in this community for decades, and I have great confidence in the jury process, and I have great confidence in the jurors of Glynn County. And when I seem confident about how this case is going to go uh, with respect to Mr. Bryan, it's because I know the community in which we live. Uh, and I think some of these folks from out of town who, you know, uh, come to this with their own agendas, uh, I think they're going to be surprised at just how sophisticated, just how intelligent, and just how thoughtful our jurors here can be. And they're going to see through a lot of the false narratives that have been put out there for the last year plus. Kevin Goff, attorney for William Roddy Bryan, appreciate your time tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.